Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and we have another Calico River Rapids construction update. This is actually in two parts. This first part was filmed by me on Friday, uh, the first day of the Boysenberry Festival, and they've got a lot of new interesting stuff happening in this section. So the first thing we can see is more footers being uh, filled in for what looks to be the log cabin on that corner. You can also see some of these like corner fittings for buildings. Uh, you can actually see these on hang time uh, for its entrance building. And here's just another look at the footers and everything right there. And then you also have a lot of work being done to this bridge. It looks like they're redoing the bridge entirely, so we may be seeing this still be in the queue. Uh, and then another look at just some markers real quick. And then, of course, there are new barriers that you can see on the left side of where the pathway is for the rafts. Now let's move on to the footage from April 3rd, which was National Boysenberry Day. So happy late National Boysenberry Day. But this was filmed by our friend Dorian. You can check out his Instagram down in the description below. Uh, but you can see there's new wood in the queuing area where those switchbacks are, which is very cool. And then they have welded the remaining parts of the barrier on this section of track. And if you didn't know in these rocks, there will be a couple of geysers that will attempt to get you wet that guests can fire off from the right side and we'll get a view at that in just a little bit of where that is um, but here's just more of the barriers and you can actually see there are stairs there possibly for an emergency exit but we'll just have to wait and see because they might end up having a block section for the Bigfoot animatronic in the cave to make sure that everybody can get that perfect experience with that animatronic because it will need a reset time, I'm sure, instead of it just getting attacked every five seconds with a new raft. So, uh, and then you can see onto the right, this is where they're gonna put in those TNT boxes that you will be able to fire as a guest and hopefully get others on the ride wet. So here's another look, you can see uh, there is a small piece of machinery. I can't exactly tell what it is from the angle that we're at. But here's another look at the barriers up top. It looks like they're finishing up something up there with wiring potentially. So we may see an animatronic over there. And you can see that there are trenches all over the site now. And I'm guessing this is for wiring or other pipes potentially for animatronics. A lot of these are in animatronic potential spaces, I would say, uh, in between the waterfall right here and just some of the rock work. I could totally see maybe like a cougar or a mountain lion, as we'd say, in California. But it's definitely interesting to see all this work just happening out of nowhere in the past two weeks or so. And you can see even more white markers around, especially next to that sensor. And now we'll move on to probably the biggest question mark for today's update. And that is what this is. Uh, it, it looks to be a filled concrete footer and then it's got a metal pipe sticking out of it. Now we were theorizing that this is most likely gotta be for an animatronic. I really don't know what else it could be for. Uh, but what animatronic would it be if it's that close to the pathway? I don't think it would be a bear, uh, but it, I think it's too big for something like a beaver or a mountain lion. So I'm guessing this could potentially be a bear animatronic spot if they put in some more greenery behind it and bushes to make sure that guests can't reach over and start petting it or trying to grab it or whatever. But we have heard from some reliable sources that the bear animatronic has actually started to show up. So hopefully we will see that be put in in the near future and if they put walls up, oh well, we'll try and figure out a way to see it regardless for you guys. Um, but it's very cool that this animatronic is finally showing up. And hopefully we can see other animatronics just like it appearing in the next couple weeks too. Uh, lots more markers over here and a lot more trenches. Uh, this definitely looks to be uh, next to where the log cabin will be and I'm very excited to see what they do here. This looks like it potentially could be for wiring uh, to get to multiple animatronics, but it's a definitely in a weird spot. It, it almost goes around the trees, which I'm sure they need to just because 
all the roots and everything will get in the way. But it makes me very interested to see how many animatronics there actually will be with this attraction in the near future. And hopefully we will actually be able to see in the next month or so. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not. And of course, as always, we'll see you on the next ride.